What is the best MTB van? Is it a Mercedes Sprinter or is it a VW Transporter? Let's have a look around this Sprinter. So we've got some cool DRLs. Um, and this is it really, it's gray. It's got some cool graphics on it. It's got big, chunky off-road wheels. Um, a Sprinter is rear wheel drive, so it's really important um, that you have chunky tires, basically. Let's have a look inside. So this one, it's the cab. If you go in, we can see what it's like in here. So we've, this has got a upgraded head unit um, from Pioneer. It's got a massive subwoofer in the back, which is great. Um, it's got these highly expensive blinds on the windows, same along the windscreen. And yeah, it's got a six speed manual gearbox. It is a 2.1 litre engine, turbo diesel. Um, and originally it was 110 horsepower. It's been remapped to 180. So it pulls like a train. It is fantastic. Um, but yeah, really it's nice smooth power on this. And then on the outside of the van, this is where we can plug in. Um, this is the exhaust pipe for the boiler. Um, that's what, so you can see how the van is all covered in salt. This is, we use these vans, they're not garage princesses. Um, this has literally just come back from North Wales in the snow. We got stuck up a Welsh mountain. I mean, that's how nuts we are. Um, this is the water tank for the inside. So that's for your hot water, your shower, your sink. And that's 80 litres. And then at the back here, we have another tank. That's 180 litres. That's just for jet washing. Um, so yeah, let's have a look inside. Now, we open up the side, boom. Oh yeah, before we go any further, just remember on the outside, we have this massive awning that comes out. Um, we could wind it out maybe. Um, it's got these outside LED lights, um, which I can show you in a second. But if we come on in, this is what it's like. It's kind of full at the moment. We've got um, various bits and pieces in here. But if we turn on that button, we should see the outside lights come on. So as you can imagine, that's really helpful in the dark. Um, but if I actually move this table out of the way, then you get a bit of an idea of the space. So you can come on in. Um, obviously you can sit down here, which is pretty chill. Um, this pulls out so here. So that's like, well, it'd be a suitable bed for two small people or one slightly bigger person like me. Um, have a look down here. This is our epic subwoofer which is great for uh, the road trips. Um, and if you come around here, we have got, so we've got a fridge, which is, and a freezer. So we can have all our ice creams and stuff in there. We've got an oven there. We've got gas hobs up here. Should we turn the lights on actually? Then we might be able to see what we're doing. There we go. Yeah, all the switches are up here for various bits and pieces. Um, we have got cupboards in here, plates, what have you, we've got more clothing, we've got big inflatable chairs. This is all the system. So this screen up here runs the heating. This here runs the electrics. Down here, we've got heat vents where the heat comes out. And yeah, we've got a sink. As you can see, it's full of all the washing up because uh, we go on lads tours and lads don't do the washing up. This is all our sweet treats. Just literally, just quite literally full of sweets and monsters. And then at the back here, this is where, if I turn the light, this is the main king size bed up here. And that bit of rubber pad you can see here, that is to make the pullout bed into a complete bed. This pole here is removable and this big seat actually spins around. Um, so we've spent a weekend of us, four of us in here, um, yeah, at Duffy, four lads in here, four bikes. I mean, it was tight, but it was perfectly manageable. And yeah, we all had a really good time. So it's perfect, you can get enough people in here. And now if, I'll we'll show you, we'll turn on the light. There we go, this is the bathroom. This is a pretty key feature of this van. Um, for me, it's what really elevates it above um, the other smaller van is the fact that, well, we've all been, we all need to go to the toilet and there are times when you go places and there isn't one. So it's really great to have one on board um, and a shower as well. Uh, you know, we go up a long way away from home and guess what mountain biking you get like muddy dirty sweaty so the fact that you can have a hot shower take that hot shower is um pretty next level so yeah i think we're done on this one let's close it up let's show you around the back <laughs> so 
So now we come around the back, we've got a reversing camera up here. Uh, I've just got the wheelie graphics on the back. Again, it's covered in dirt and stuff, forgive us. Um, and then yeah, what we've uh, sort of added in here is we've got lights on the sides. As you can see, it's full, it's a working van. Um, we've literally just come back from an event, so this is all our stuff um, for selling stuff and displaying what have you. We've got loads of spare tires. One of the recent things I've added is got an air compressor check that out that is pretty nifty uh, if i show you what that looks like that is in here so we've actually got that's the hose pipe to refill the water tanks and we've got a barbecue in there as well and obviously the compressor there's a spare wheel for the van in there it's got rubber floors so it's kind of easy to wash out um, we've also added it's gonna be difficult to see but we have fork mounts down here so you can put your bikes in basically we can put it a bike so a big wheel goes there and then the fork comes across and mounts down here so what we've done before is we've had people um sleeping so basically the bikes go across and are lifted up off the floor and then we can sleep underneath you can we've had two people um underneath four bikes so yeah that was epic as well um yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, and then up here, this is where we keep the tools. This is to pull out the awning. Um, and you know, we have things like first aid kits, um, cleaner stuff, spare shoes, wellies. We're prepared literally for anything, um, apocalypse, etc. Right, now moving on to the Transporter T6. So this one in particular note is a four motion. So that means it's, um, well, it's kind of all wheel drive, four wheel drive. If it gets muddy, the front wheels start slipping, power goes to the back as well. Um, basically I've been to a lot of events in muddy fields where you see loads of people in vans getting stuck and this thing flies out. In fact, it actually drifts. Um, but I'd say the mega advantage of this van is it feels like a car. Like it's not a big clunky van. This driving position is beautiful. If you have a look at the seats, we've had the seats all redone in the wheelie blue. I think this looks pretty awesome. Uh, same the steering wheel, had that trimmed up as well. But the mega thing that is epic is these armrests here. Either side, just sit there. I've driven up to Scotland, well, eight hours. Cruise control on. Like, just listen to the podcast. It's amazing. So comfy. Cannot go wrong. Obviously, you've got all built-in sat-nav. That's all factory. This is a Highline model, so it's really top spec. Um, and yeah, that's about that bit. Um, again, this one's muddy. Forgive it. Um, this has got cool cool wheels. They're staggered wheels, actually. So the rears are wider than the fronts. They sit beautifully in line there. So yeah, that's that. Obviously got our wheelie little stickers. This one, in fact, has got a uh, bike rack on the top as well. It's got two bike racks, so we can take another two bikes on the roof. And obviously having roof bars means it's useful for paddle boarding, taking a massive paddleboard, that sort of thing. We've had kayaks, you name it, we've had it on here. Um, this has got a two litre turbo diesel engine. Um, again, this was originally 140 horsepower, it's been remapped to 180. Um, this, once you get the turbo um, up to boost, this thing absolutely flies. This is one of the big things I like about this van. Now, let's have a look inside of this one. So, we'll turn the lights on. Um, basically, if you come on inside, We've got, in its current set, how it is right now, we've got this bike rack here, so we get three bikes. The back wheels sit in here, and then all the front wheels, the bars are at a side, and you've got three. So three bikes, th three bikes perfectly held in, and three seats up front. Um, we've, I've custom made all of this, so this is probably super unusual. We've never seen anything like this before. I've put pallet walls, because hey, it looks really funky. Uh, even got like cutouts in here to put your phone and your keys at night. And then if you look down here, this is where we've got um, a little gauge where we got we can plug in USBs and the voltmeter. Um, we've also over here, we've got more USB charging ports and we can turn on these little lights we've got down here. So like at night, we've um, got little under, sort of under bed lights. Um, so you don't have to wake everyone up when you want to get up. Um, and this main front seat fully spins round. Um, we might show you that in a second. Um, this thing here, Unfortunately, I don't have it, but a table attaches in that. So you can sit in that, eat your lunch. It even comes out. You can have a table out here, really useful, particularly for working on bikes. Um, 
and then that is really helpful because we all know when working on bikes you kind of need a workshop place to put the parts and stuff now we come on the backs so again wheelie branding got a cool spoiler on there so this one's got a reversing camera as well so yeah what is good about this is so this is the bed this is actually currently split in half so the bed it's a full king size bed that then folds up um, to make it nice and easy um, we will show you that in a second but this is again i've never seen a conversion like this we've got all this space under here and even when um, the bed's folded down there's still all this space with no support so you can get we've had two bikes in there you've always got to take the front wheels off but two bikes with no front wheels on easy um so yeah it's great and also all your kit you can just chuck it in it's absolutely fabulous and like on the back of the doors here big thanks to mr deeks got a nice hat you know just these nets with various bits and pieces on them um, it's really really helpful so let's show you this bed converted down and ta-da there we have a massive bed, king size. Like, that is dreamy and it's so comfy. Um, and then under here, you can obviously, this bike rack comes out. So, you know, and there's still plenty of space here. I've had fridges, you can even get, we've had a downhill bike in here. So I had two under the bed and another downhill bike in there. So yeah, this is pretty epic. This was actually my first van. Um, so I really did go to town on it. Um, it's obviously all carpeted on the inside. These windows open up so you can get your head out, have a breather in the night. Um, and yeah, it's pretty epic little van, this one. Um, obviously got all LED lights in the ceiling. Yeah, that's about it. Big fat size large e-bike. Watch how easy it goes in. Get it like that. Done, loaded, let's go. That's secure, you can check it all out. That's how it goes in. I even used to fit my uh, massive pole in there. Like, so you can get three in each gap and they don't touch each other. We go, you know, we've done driven loads all the time with three people, three bikes and, you know, going fast around corners and they are perfectly fine. Don't ever get damaged. So now we're going to do a little comparison, pros and cons of each one. So forgive me, I've got a little list on my phone. So the best thing about the Transporter, simple thing is it's fast. Um, it drives like a car and yeah, all right, it's not a performance car, but most cars on the road, we can beat them. You can be doing, you know, pretty high speeds on the motorway, etc. And particularly with the four-wheel drive, you feel really, really safe. Um, and we've also upgraded the tires, got top of the range tires. It can hold a line, it's great. Um, the other good thing about it is it is so quick to load bikes into. Um, again, that's my little uh, making up that bike stand. Makes it really easy, as hopefully you saw in the video. It's literally seconds um, and the bikes don't need any tying down or anything like that. Good things about the Mercedes Sprinter. So, do you know what I love? It's always having a cold drink in the fridge. And even better, where it's got solar panels, it means we can just leave the fridge on permanently and it's always ready to go with a cold drink in there. Great. The other thing is you can live off grid. You quite literally could go and park absolutely anywhere you like and you have a shower, an oven, heating, and a really comfy bed. Not just one bed, two beds. And you could even, we've had people sleep in the front seats, we've had people sleep in the garage. So there's potentially four beds available. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely fantastic bit of kit for that. And that was the exact reason we bought it, um, was for that reason. Now, onto the bad bits. Transporter. Although it's just a normal transporter, you can't get into most car parks. So whenever there's a height barrier, most of them are 2.1 meters. This is unfortunately more than 2.1 meters and it won't get in. Really annoying, particularly as obviously it's a van, but you've still not got that much headroom in it, but you still can't actually use it as a daily driver. Um, so yeah, it's a bit annoying for that reason. And the other thing is inside of it, it's not that spacious. So when we go to a race and there's a couple of us and we're all sat, it's raining, although we can fit in, it's really quite tight and it's not ideal. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a bit of a downside versus the Sprinter, the bad bits on the Sprinter. Now, unfortunately it does drink fuel. It gets about 20 MPG and that's sitting nicely at 60 miles an hour, um, which is, yeah, not great. Bearing in mind, if we sat at 60 in the Transporter, you'd get about 42 MPG. The other thing that is 
bad about it is it's a massive van, but it's only got three legal seat belted seats. So although you're taking this massive thing and you can take quite a few bikes, so only technically can take three people. So that is a bit of a letdown. If you're being cheeky, then yeah, you could get some people in the back, but at the end of the day, it's got three proper seats and that's that. Um, so overall, if it's a really difficult one if I was to have to pick. Um, it really depends what your priorities are. And if, if it needs to be your one and only vehicle, then I think the transport is gonna be the one for you. Um, just cause there's so many things you can do with it. I mean, that is my daily driver and it is fantastic. You can go to the shops, you can get in car parks. That's a long wheelbase. It's a little bit trickier than a short wheelbase, but it's still pretty easy. But if you're a serious, serious mountain biker doing races and maybe have access to another vehicle to use daily, then I think the Sprinter is gonna be the one for you. Um, particularly when it's fully converted into a camper van like this, then you literally just cannot go wrong in terms of ultimate MTB van. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, and we're really trying to like push our YouTube and make it better and better and better. So do please comment below if you've got any uh, suggestions on how we can make it better. Um, like this week, we've added a microphone to make the audio a little bit better, um, but yeah. Also comment, subscribe, like it, um, follow us on Insta, TikTok, Facebook. We've got it all. And even better, have a little look on our website or come in store. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye.